integration by partial fractions, case 2 repeated linear factors. But first, let me remind you with the conditions to apply partial fraction. We should have polynomial over polynomial, degree of a numerator less than denominator, and denominator can be written in factor form. So 1 over x cubed plus x squared, it's polynomial over polynomial. Degree of a numerator is 0, and degree of denominator is 3. And the third case, we can factorize the denominator. So here we can write it as 1 over, take x squared common, So here are factors, but we need linear factor. It means the degree should be 1. So we would write it as 1 over x squared is x times x times x plus 1. So now we will write it as... So here we have repeated factors, x and x. So this is the second case. We will write it as a over x plus 1 plus b over x plus c over x is repeated two times so here x is square so same here it's equal to 1 over x square is x times x so we need linear factors and x minus 1 the cube so x minus 1 x minus 1 and x minus 1 it's equal to a over x plus b over x repeated two times so x square plus c over x minus 1 d over two time here x minus 1 square plus e over so here it's repeated three times so x minus 1 cube here x over x minus 4 x squared minus 14 is x minus 4 times x plus 4. So it's equal to a over x plus 4 plus b over x minus 4 plus c over x minus 4 square. Now we need to find a, b, and c. Let's see how we can do it. Integral for 1 over x cubed plus x squared dx. So 1 over x cubed plus x squared. If we take x squared common. Now x squared is equal to x times x times x plus 1. Equal to a over x plus 1 plus b over x plus c over x squared. Now to find a, b, and c, we will use the cover-up method as we did in the previous video. So what is the number that makes the denominator here equal to 0? It's minus 1. So for x equal to minus 1, substitute x minus 1 here, and we need to cover x plus 1. So now a equal 1 over minus 1 times minus 1 equal to 1 so here is a now to find b we should take x equal to 0 here and we need to cover x but please note that if we substitute x equal to 0 here we will get 1 over 0 times 1 so 1 over 0 which is undetermined so cover up method will not work in this case forget about b let's look to c so c is the same we need x equal to 0 also so for x equal to 0 substitute x equal to 0 here and we need to cover x square now we will get 1 over 0 plus 1 1 equal to 1 so now we found a and C. What about B? The easiest method is to take any value of x except minus 1 and 0. For example, suppose that x equal to 1. Now, substitute x equal to 1 here in this equation. We will get 1 over 1 times 1 times 2, which is 2 
equal a over x plus 1 and a equal to 1. So 1 over 1 plus 1, 2 plus b, we need to find it, over x, x equal to 1, so b over 1, plus c equal to 1 also, over x square, so 1 square, 1. So 1 over 2, drop 1 over 2, 0 equal to b plus 1, imply that b equal to minus 1. So we found A, B, and C. Now we need to plug it here and find the integral. So 1 over x cubed plus x squared equal 1 over x plus 1 plus B equal to minus 1. So minus 1 over x plus c, so plus 1 over x squared. We need to find the integral, so the integral of 1 over x cubed plus x squared equal the integral of these partial fractions. And we know the integral of these fractions, so integral for 1 over x plus 1 is ln absolute x plus 1 minus ln absolute x plus 1 over x square is x to power minus 2 and we know its integral is x to power minus 2 plus 1 over minus 2 plus 1 we will finally get minus 1 over x so here instead of plus we have minus so minus 1 over x plus c and we are done Let's take another example. First, we need to check the conditions to see if we can apply partial refraction or not. So we have polynomial over polynomial, first condition. Degree of numerator is 2 and degree of denominator here, x cubed 3. So second condition applied also. And the third condition, denominator can be factorized, which is true. So, we should apply partial refraction to find the integral. Now, 2x squared plus 3x minus 8 over x plus 2 cubed equal 2x squared plus 3x minus 8 over, remember it's linear, so we need linear factor degree 1. So, x plus 2 times x plus 2 times x plus 2 equal a over x plus 2 plus b over x plus 2 squared it's repeated two times now plus c over x plus 2 cubed now we need to find a b and c so first I will find C. So to find C, we need to take x equal to minus 2, substitute it here, but we need also to cover x plus 2 cubed. So we will not have anything in the denominator. In this case, if x equal to minus 2, so 2 times minus 2 squared is 4 times 2 8 plus 3 times minus 2 minus 6 minus 8 equal to minus 6 so now we found C we still have A and B to find A we should take X equal also minus 2 but we need to cover X plus 2 one of them in this case, if we substitute x minus 2, we will get 0 in the denominator. So we can't apply this method to find a and b also. Same for b. If we cover x plus 2 square, we still have x plus 2. So if we substitute x minus 2, we will get 0 in the denominator. So what we can do is take any value of x other than minus 2. 
I will take two values for x. First one for x equal to 0. Now substitute x equal to 0 in this equation. Let's see what we will get. So 2 times 0, 0 plus 0 minus 8 over 0 plus 2, 2, 2 times 2 times 2, 8 equal a over 2 plus b over 4 c equal to minus 6 so minus 6 over 2 cube 8 so minus 1 equal a over 2 plus b over 4 let me bring minus 6 over 8 to the other side plus 6 over 8 so we will get here minus 2 over 8 or minus 1 over 4 equal a over 2 plus b over 4 so this is the first equation now we will substitute x equal to 1 for example you can take any value as we said so for x equal to 1 now 2 times 1 square equal 2 plus 3 minus 8 over 3 times 3 times 3 27 equal a over 3 plus b over 1 plus 2 3 squared so 9 plus c and c equal to minus 6 so minus 6 over 1 plus 2 cubed 27 So 2 plus 3 minus 8 equal to minus 3 over 27 equal a over 3 plus b over 9. If we bring minus 6 to this side plus 6 over 27. So minus 3 plus 6 equal to 3 over 27 which is equal to 1 over 9 equal to a over 3 plus b over 9 so we have the second equation now we have equation of two unknown we can find it using our calculator so a will be equal to 2 and b equal to minus 5 and we already found c equal to minus 6 now we need to substitute a b and c here in this equation so we will get let me rewrite it again equal a over x minus 1 over x plus 2 plus b over x plus 2 square plus c over x plus 2 cube so a equal to b equal to minus 5 and c equal to minus 6 now to find the integral of this one it's equal to integral of each of these partial fraction and we know the integral of each one of them so it's equal to integral for 1 over x plus 2 is len absolute x plus 2 minus 5 integral for 1 over x plus 2 square dx so it's of the form x plus 2 to power minus 2 dx integral for u to power n dx equal u to power n plus 1 over n plus 1 so x plus 2 to power minus 2 plus 1 over minus 2 plus 1 so we'll have minus 1 in the denominator so plus and here x plus 2 to power minus 1 same for this one so minus 6 outside 
x plus 2 to power minus 3 its integral is minus 3 plus 1 over minus 3 plus 1 so we will get minus 2 in the denominator so plus and 6 over 2 and here x plus 2 minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2 plus c and final step we can simplify it equal to len x plus 2 plus 5 over x plus 2 plus 6 over 2 is 3 and x plus 2 to power 2 plus c and you are done next video we'll talk about the third and final case of partial fraction if you like the video please hit the like and subscribe button goodbye